What's up guys, it is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome to the second part of our Let's Play series on Telltale Games The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 4 Amidst the Ruins and we're going to continue where we last left off and you can enjoy that image of the hatchet or the axe, the bloody the, uh, axe and last episode was quite intense guys, like the rest of the series is and uh, season one included the group of uh, Luke, uh, Jane, my wife, Luke, <sighs> Clementine, and uh, Sarah too. I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> mm? We're not far. Yeah, of course. Uh, don't let me down. You gotta start trying. Please, Sarah. Yeah. You've gotta start trying. Yeah. Or you're not gonna be okay. We have to be honest. I won't want to help you if you aren't trying. Yeah. But I'm not okay. No. Just try. Can you do that? She has to. She just needs a little time, Clem. Yeah. Leave her be for a bit. Yeah, we should. We're going to find a process. But I have no hope left I don't in know Sarah. About this. The way she is, she's going to cause problems. She is, of course. It's sad. What happened in there? I blame Carlos. When you went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Mm -hmm. Look, I just, I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I. It's uh, her I don't sister, mean to Jamie. I, uh, I get it's it. It's just the way things are. Yeah. It's okay. I get it. Yeah. Things aren't always simple. Exactly. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. Yeah. She's still traumatized in I here. I tried to save Jamie too, here. but yeah. she gave up. Yeah. It happened to the worst of us, or rather the best of us. I just... It's, uh... I can't believe it. A really, uh, As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the... Horrible feeling. I had already made no. up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Humanity, uh, really is... No, I can't forget it. Uh... I dragged my sister across four states, and every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Fragile, you know. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof, and, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't oh. throw her. Sad. So Sad. I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. We break easily. Jump to the next building over by myself. I'm sorry, Jane. Jane. Yeah. I'm really sorry. People break just like Jamie, Jane's sister. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. And all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Just like Sarah right now. Sarah was happy too. Exactly. Jane. Sarah no regard for her own safety. Or right ours. Thing. I hope I did the right thing. Yeah. Because I think you did. If it's Come on, our let's get back to your friends. Worst fate uh, awaits uh, Sarah, and that's going to be a huge mistake on uh, not just Clementine's part, but our part for making that decision. And honestly, I really can't stand to see a girl suffer. That's The Walking Dead, and honestly, humanity is Some fragile. We can found them. suck, but yeah, I'm a little amazed myself. I guess we we do have our good qualities too. Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? Not so good, I imagine. No? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. And, uh, wait, wait. Where's Nick? He's dead. <sighs> Resting in peace. Oh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Yeah. And uh, we need to talk. Let's just give him some space. Kenny. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. no one else no. knows how to. Yeah, sad for Nick. I don't feel that way about Nicky Poo. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. Whatever. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. Uh -huh. But yeah. I was hoping you might know. Does Lou know anything about babies? I doubt it. Has he, I don't know, Kenny mentioned Carlos babies. teaching him anything? Kenny. Kenny had a family. He could help. Yeah. We just Where is he? To talk to him. Probably in his tent. 
you know, uh, still mourning the uh, loss of... He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. Sarita. I haven't seen him since. His beloved uh, girlfriend. I don't think he's doing I'll well. I'll go in there. Yeah. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. Yeah. And uh, <sighs> if you guys notice my uh, poor choice of words or how I mix things up during the commentary, it's because as the dialogue is going on, I really can't, you know, uh, figure out what I want to say. But let's go and talk to Kenny and see if we can break his barrier and get through to him. Hopefully we can. So uh, we can, you know, get him to help with uh, uh, Rebecca giving birth to the baby, Alden's baby. I'll hear the check on you. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Horrible. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. He's suicidal. He has a death and wish. I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. Yeah. Duck, Katja, Sarita, no peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Shit. You know, guys, uh... Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. It's uh, scary because uh, I've been there. And, That's uh, not true. You help me all the time. Everything he says. I need you. He uh, nailed me, you know. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. The experience of what he's going through, and, uh... Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. We both help people. Can't kill me yet, anyway. Kenny and I, looks like it might, must hurt. It looks like it must hurt. Yeah. It took quite a beating to the eye. Well... You know, as oh, much... Shit. Does that mean what I think it does? Oh no, the baby. Because, uh... We should see what's going on. Yeah, we should. Uh, Kenny, uh, definitely has his flaws, but he's been through so much. And I sure as hell have my flaws. But we're both good men in the end. We're just, you know, lost. Are you okay? How does it feel? Kenny more so. It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Sure. Mm. Oh, coming out. We yeah. should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. What do we need? They'll be able to smell That's her, too. Us. Yeah. Now you got no choice but to lock down place. and ride it out. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. Yeah. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Let's check out the map and see if we can find some kind of motel so we can give birth to uh, Rebecca's the baby. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. Sure. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny. You, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and yeah. Kenny, okay? Clem. She won't make it, guys. She won't. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. You're welcome. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... What? How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. She's helping and she so volunteered far. to head off awful fast. Trust her. I guess it could be nothing. Yeah. I trust Jane. Yeah. I, mean, I would have never made it back without her. True. Just something to think about. Yeah. Bonnie does make a point. Okay. All right, Look yeah. at the warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Yeah, I'm going with Maybe Jane. I should go with Jane. 
because you better hurry and catch up. Then. You know, my wife. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. I love Jane. I do, baby. It breaks my heart that Sarah isn't going to, you know, make it uh, in this world, and how she really is uh, basically dead weight. It hurts to say that, but she is dead weight, and uh, need to uh, catch up with uh, Jane so we can, you know, see what she's up to. And there she is, my beloved waifu, very far ahead, near this uh, motel or center. I think it's a pharmacy. Then again, I don't know what this place is. Oh, hey. Hmm? Hey there. I knew you'd be here. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... I can't express how much I love the short hair. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. I would love to have a... Uh, Girl like so, that. Come on, know? partner. Yeah, partner. Let's go check out that deck. This pumps. I like the height. My partners. Oh yeah. You know, we don't give high fives. We don't give uh, hugs or kisses. Just fist pumps. You don't seem okay, partner. partner? <laughs> don't let it get to your head. Partner Let's in crime. Go. Of course, partner. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know. Uh, I hope this place is what we're looking for. Bonnie and Clyde. God knows we could use a break. Only it's Bonnie and Bonnie, you know, the uh, criminal duo, Bonnie and Clyde, but rather than a man and woman, it's two women, in this case, a younger girl. They're like sisters and not like, you know, lovers, like Bonnie and Clyde. So yeah, sisters for life, baby. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Yeah, you be sure. Who knows what could be in there? Maybe. There. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the yeah. baby. Is the place? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, partners. Hmm, mm. maybe I can pick the lock. Oh. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, Jane. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. Mm -hmm. See if you can find something bigger. Yeah. You might need to bust the mechanism. Like a uh, cannonball, you know, like this can right here, making an observation. That's a silver trophy we got. Let's see what this uh, cannon is. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Yeah, Napoleon, baby. Oh. <laughs> they oh, fell in with cement, so they're safe. Napoleon is looking down on Clem and giving her a face palm like this, saying, You idiot, but in French. Trash can. Find anything? Nope. No, not even trash. Yeah. Poster? What's this poster about? Oh, the Civil War. Cool. I was always curious of how the Civil War went, you know, between the Confederates and the Union. The Union eventually won, but it would be interesting to see a film based on that war. And I'm sure there is a film or two based on the Civil War. I'll try to keep a lookout for them and we should try to find a way to uh, get into that garage and uh, we can use this telescope. Yeah, let's try out this telescope right here. I guess it's broken. Yeah, there has to be something here we can use. I just can't, you know, go further in this uh, building. That's very weird. I hope what's in the wood. I know, we see new walkers. How can I help? If you can find anything to help me get this open faster, that'd be great. Yeah. Take a look around. Sure thing. We just can't find anything that might be useful, but this telescope right here could be useful, I guess. And yeah, it works. Nice. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can church. see a church. Oh, yeah? The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make Whoa. it in her condition. Who's that guy? In mind. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Yeah. Some dude with a bag. A bag of what? I shit, wonder. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And he has and a. Who knows if he has friends nearby? Limp. I don't like having some stranger What's sneaking around. Why is he coming up here? Yeah. No idea. And he has we a. We should scope him out and see what he's up to. Yeah. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. Same here. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. I'll distract him. Last thing we need yeah. is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good yeah. call. That's good thinking. Shh. Hide now. And uh, the teamwork between the sisters 
partners in crime. Yeah, the uh, dude with the limp leg. Let's see what he's about and why he's here. Uh, dude, are you there? Hey, brother, talk to him. Hey. Oh, oh, oh a gun. Calm down, bitch. Don't hurt me, Mr. Kid. I can't talk to you. I just want to talk to you. Yeah, calm down, pussy. Uh, who are you? Who are you? He's shaking. He's scared. Shit. I'm Arvo. Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Arvo or Alvo? I don't want to shoot anyone. Okay, Especially Malinka Diochka. Uh, a little girl. Russian. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Yeah. Huh. Whoa! Nice, Jane. Oh, yeah. Put the bag down. Put the bag down. Good. Clint. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Yeah. We need to check the bag to see if he's loaded. I doubt he is because how scared this boy is, Arvo. And it's interesting that he's Russian. I didn't expect to find a Russian, uh, you know... No, I have no more guns! In, I swear to... In the States, but the United States is a diverse country, Anything? so... I'll give them that. And uh, <sighs> nothing. Medicine. That's a serious stash of meds. Yeah, plenty of them. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. <laughs> Calm down, no, boy. My sister, she's sick. Why are you hiding it? Crying. That makes those things yeah. come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, mm. I, I need to keep it. I need to keep it safe. Mm. Makes sense. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No. no. You are not nice people. You are not nice people. You already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine. We bad you people. Are you hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. I love this guy. You're still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. And his very look at all of it, Clementine. We need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Very poor English. Clementine? Yes. Return the bag. Return the fucking bag. This Russian boy with bad English. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let yeah. go. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's English. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Horrible, man. Horrible English. Worse than mine. Not saying something. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, what are you doing? Oh, you don't do have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Yeah? Don't? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you how, won't how? just be walking away. Yeah? Go. How, baby? Run away, Arvo. Run away with the bag of medicine for your sweet little sister. Oh, yeah. Well, pussy. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. What happens, uh, Jane? Threatening some stupid kid? Shoot him. We should go the we others. Should go get everyone else. Yeah, we should. Yeah. I'm not gonna blame Jane. She was doing what she thought was best. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I don't know who's been through worse, uh, Jane or uh, Kenny. And the reason why I brought up Kenny and Jane in the same, uh, you know, sentence because that will come into play later in the series. I'm not going to say what it is, but you guys and gals will find out. All I'm going to say is that I'm with Jane all the way. Amen, baby. Amen. Sisters for life. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? No. Nope. I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. Yeah? Um, I don't guess there'd be much, but stranger. Jane seems pretty resourceful. Yeah. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit, scared them off. This is the last thing we need right now. Yeah. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Mm -hmm. Well, glad you're okay. Yeah. Of course. Always is Jane still be. up there now? Yeah. She is. She's trying to get the gift shop open. Mm -hmm. I can't figure her out. I mean, she I'm really sure. lays it on the line, but at the same I, time, she I doesn't like show her. anything that can. Yeah. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's mm -hmm. doing. She does. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Huh? Jane well, seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? Same here. But when I look at Kenny now, he 
just broken. seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Yeah. I know you got a history yeah. with him. Look, I think he's a good right. guy. He's broken. And he started as a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. He always tries to do the right thing. What? No. But no. he's not the same anymore. You know, I'm the, you see it too. I'm very temperamental too, like Jane, because we both endured hardships. And you need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will uh I'll see you back there. And just like Jane, we are not broken like Kenny. We are not. I've gone through so many shit in my life, so many shit that I don't dare to share with you guys and gals. And yet somehow I'm still standing now. I can't even explain how that is, but I guess I'm not you to be in labor yet, Kenny. Why endure is wrong? and survive. Wrong. Babies know how to be born. That's what we do if we Clementine. are truly strong. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Endure and survive. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's, it's coming so safe. much faster than yeah. I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Yeah. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Enduring mm -hmm. and surviving is a principle to this very day I Imagine live by. Safe. Of How are you feeling? Rebecca. Scared and hurt. I imagine it does. <laughs> Here. It's not sad, I don't know the good Alvin man. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me, and always looked out for everyone. Yeah? That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. He did? I should have told him that more often. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. It's things okay. I should have talked to him about. Oh, you get a chance. Alvin thinks... How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's gonna be a girl. Yeah? yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. <laughs> I've got a feeling this one's a boy. Wow. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. I'm with uh, uh, oh, shit. Alvin. I got this. I would like it to be a uh, baby girl. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust him. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go cool. ahead. I'll be fine. Yeah. We'll check on them. I have nothing against, like, you know, uh, boys, but I would prefer to have uh, girls as, you know, uh, a child if I do have a partner, whether a man or woman, because I love my daughters. That's one of the reasons why I love Bioshock, because of uh, the little sisters being like our daughters, you know? Let's talk to uh, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, you know, Rebecca's starting You're going to leave me, I don't know. Luke tried to save you. Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. Yeah? How come you didn't leave me? Friends. Pinky swears. Yeah. Because we're friends. Exactly. I could never be that good of a friend. If you tried. I just want my dad. Wow. I know. When he, when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Oh my god. He's not coming, Sarah. Sarah, your dad. You know he isn't yeah. coming, right? Sarah? Talk about Kenny. I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be alright. He uh, thought that Kenny was broken, but Sarah, holy shit, she's gone nuts. It's to be expected when a girl so young lost her daddy. Then again, Clem is younger than her, and once again, I blame Carlos for this guy. And whatever happened to Sarah is all on Carlos. I can't stand men like that who don't uh, teach their little girls or little boys how to, you know, take care of themselves right before they pass, so they can, you know, hey, live Clem. by. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? She's still with us. Take off? Why did yeah. she take off? Yeah, she's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, yeah. that's good. Just give me like 10 more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty handed. <laughs> what? I just want to help. You're doing a great job, uh, Magic Mike. Let's talk to Magic Mike over I sure here. sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Yeah, we're going to Dear Sweet Mike. And let's find where Bonnie is so we can, you know, have a little you chit chat. They say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out <laughs> of the way. Oh, well, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Wow. And you didn't have to come with me. Yeah. No, I wanted to. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, 
what the hell are you talking about, Mike? You either want to come or you don't, and uh, a Civil War coat. Nice. You have a coat. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good fan, Clem. Yeah? You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder yeah, before it starts getting warm. Rebecca? Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. The baby? Well, that's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. Of course she will. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. Yeah? It came I feel in so hand. bad about everything that happened. Don't. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. No, it's okay. Not that I blame you if you do. I haven't yeah. always used the best judgment. It seems Fine. like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Yeah. Amen. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know... Uh, what? Confederate? We can't put <laughs> Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Calm down, oh, boy. I didn't even think about that. I guess it's better than nothing, though. What the hell? I mean, the Confederates are gone. So are the Union, so what does it matter? God, these Americans are so sensitive about their culture and their history, you know? Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I mean, I'm a patriot of my country, but you don't see me crying or bitching whenever someone insults me for being either Arab or believing in my country's faith. I mean, what the fuck? I can't be No, just... not so much. Uh, Unless you want some broken glass. Live their life without being judged even once? I don't think so. I don't want to say that Americans have nothing to complain about, but honestly, they need to, you I know, tell you, relax. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Yeah? The way things are now. You're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah. Yeah, true enough. They need to chill out, the Americans, and uh, let's pull this up, like so. Here we go, and uh, there we go. Good. Now, uh, what do we do next? We Over here. Get through there. Squeeze through. Because Clem's little. Water. Bottled yeah. and clean. That's just what we need. Yeah. Let's get that damn bottle of water. It's locked. You want to kick it down? Huh? That'd make an awful lot of noise. <laughs> it would. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, if somebody was small enough, they could... Maybe squeeze through that gap? Yeah, yeah, we're going. I could try to pry it open some more. Right, I'll go. Help much. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll go. I love Thanks, a reaction. Too. Just open the door from the other side. Mac will carry those things out. <laughs> Might be a bit heavy for you. <laughs> sure. I mean, she's so little. God damn, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I push from... Oh, what the fuck? Jesus. We need to uh, struggle. Struggle with this bitch, the zombie. There we go. Oh, now. Oh, good, my good. Yeah, let's find the uh, weapon. And there we go. Good. Yeah. Nice. Jeez. Well, that happened. Yeah, it did. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. It's okay. Cool. Yeah. No worries. At least now we got something to bring back. You do. I'll don't keep we? checking the other room. You do that, Bonnie. Let's get this water. Sweetie. Bonnie. Sweetie. It rhymes. And Bonnie's so cute and hot. I love my redheads like I love my uh, short haired <laughs> girls. And we need to lift this up. Oh my god, it's way too heavy. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling with the uh, water, but big uh, magic Mike, he's strong and handsome. Oh, yeah. And that looks pretty heavy. It does. Well, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. We will, baby. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. You're right. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. Yeah. That baby's going to be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. Yep. And between you and me, She's not looking to you. Hey, guys. Feeling sick? What? You found something? Come on. Stay close. Interesting. Like what, I wonder? I just oh. walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. Raccoon! You can eat raccoon? Yeah. I need the shit out of that raccoon. Raccoon searching high not and like, low. I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Starving. Raccoon. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. That's my attempt at a Shoot, Jamaican accent. Away. I love Jamaicans, and we need to uh, check behind this uh, thing for the raccoon. Over here. Yeah. Hello, raccoon. 
Let's hunt the poor raccoon. Come on, boy. Oh, 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 catch shit. raccoon! Catch raccoon! There we go. Shoot. Damn raccoon! Dang it! Damn you! <laughs> run, baby, run! Don't shoot the damn thing! Don't shoot, yeah! Aww! Babies! Aww, so cute! Damn, Mike, you're gonna shoot a uh, mama raccoon and her baby. I was before. Raccoons. I love saying it like that because, you know. I get to a place where I'm sad. You to go away. Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. Yeah? It had a family. I love to say it. Me too. The name. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. In my fake, stupid uh, Jamaican we accent. Have much time to waste. <laughs> yeah, you know I love accents of people, especially if they have very bad English. But I especially love uh, the Jamaican accent. It's among my top five favorite accents I wish to imitate, but sadly will fail in. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and look forward to the next episode. Until then, adios, amigos. Au revoir and sayonara.